This is Geographical Analysis, Lecture 9, Discrete Probability Distributions. First I want to introduce you to the concept of a random variable, which is a variable whose value results from some kind of random process. For example, if y is a random variable that depends on the result of a coin toss, let's represent the outcome of a coin toss with the letter y, I'm sorry, with the letter W, and the random variable Y depends on the outcome W. And we'll let Y equal 1 when W is a heads, and we'll let Y equal 0 when W is tails. In other words, we flip a coin, W is the result of the coin toss, and Y changes between 1 or 0 depending on if the coin toss was a heads or a tails. If that's the case, then the probability that y will equal 1 is the same thing as saying it's the probability that the coin toss will be ahead, and the probability is 1 half. Similarly, the probability that y equals 0 is going to be 1 half as well. So, for a random variable that depends on a random process, we can attribute different probabilities to different values of the random variable. Let x be a random variable that depends on the result of a die roll. Here, the result of the roll is going to be kept track of with a w. So if the roll is 1, x is equal to 1. If the roll is 2, x is equal to 2. Then the probability that x equals w for any of these w's, 1 through 6, is just simply 1 sixth. There's a 1 sixth chance that x will equal 1, a 1 sixth chance that x will equal 2, and so on. We're going to define something called the expected value of a random variable. The expected value is the weighted average of all possible values that a random variable can take on. We're going to denote the expected value with a capital E, and then inside the brackets we'll have the random variable. So the expected value of x in this case, well, in the general case, the expected value is the sum of all of uh, the sum over all possible outcomes k. So k is a possible value of the variable x, and we're going to multiply k by the probability that the random variable equals k. And for each of these k outcomes, we're going to calculate k times the probability that x equals k. And we're going to add them all up in the summation from k equals 1, the first possible outcome, to capital K, the last possible outcome. It's going to be convenient to define this notation. The probability of k is the same thing as the probability that the random variable equals k. So the expected value is the sum over all possible k's of k times pk. Now let's assume that the random variable x uh, denotes the outcome of a die roll. In order to calculate the expected value of x, what we are going to do is add up k times pk for k equals 1 to 6. So for k equals 1, the first element in this summand, we're going to have k1, right, times the probability that x will equal 1. Well, there's a 1 sixth chance that x will equal 1. Next, we have k equals 2 times the probability that x equals 2. Well, there's a 1 6 chance of that. There's a 1 6 chance of each of these different k probabilities. In the end, the expected value is 3 and a half. What this tells us is that when we roll a die, the uh, and if we roll the die multiple times, we would expect the average value of all of our uh, die roll results to be 3.5. And that makes sense. If you think about it, the outcomes could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, each of them with equal probability. It's essentially the same thing as taking the average of the numbers 1 through 6. We'll get 3.5. So the expected value is often interchanged 
with the average or the mean of a random variable. So the mean value of a random variable is the same thing as the expected value of the random variable.